And he says, do you have a dollar? And my first friend looks at him with his like face and he's like, nah, bro, I ain't got no dollar for you. Get out of here, broke boy. Tells him straight. Dude says, okay. And then he looks at me. I then say, sorry, man, I don't have a. All right, don't worry. We're going to get right back to the story. But I wanted to welcome you to My Muscle TV. And my first question to you is, is the mind even a muscle? Three, three, three two, two, one, one, one. Oh. Now, I thought that was a pretty good question because I really didn't know the answer. But I want to introduce you to my new AI assistant. Hello, nice to meet you. Now, he is going to be able to be around to answer the questions that are more technical or things I might not know. And he can let you and me know about those things. So let's get his perspective on that question. Well, the brain is not a muscle in the traditional sense. Muscles are made up of fibers that contract and relax to produce movement. While the brain, on the other hand, is primarily composed of neurons, glial cells, and other support structures. However, like muscles, the brain can undergo physical changes and adaptations in response to stimuli and activity, a concept known as neuroplasticity. Regular mental exercises, learning, and cognitive challenges can help maintain and even enhance brain function, similar to how physical exercise can strengthen and improve muscle performance. So while the brain isn't a muscle, it does share some similarities in terms of its ability to adapt and grow with stimulation and practice. Well, didn't we all learn something? All right, let's practice your neuroplasticity right now with this brain teaser. The more I take, the more I leave behind. What am I? Ooh, I think I know it. Now, I know he knows, but do you? If you want to know the answer to this brain teaser, wait till the end of the video and I'll give it to you. <sighs> All right, it's story time. And the story that I wanna tell you guys today is about me in high school. Now, while I was in high school, I would say I was a nerd through and through. I was in a robotics club, chess club. I was in a science and technology program. It was a lot of things that really just put me in that quote unquote category of nerd. And I didn't mind it, but most nerds kind of get bullied. And it's something that I dealt with, like I think a lot of people kind of deal with in their high school years. Um, one story I remember in particular, it was maybe the last day of sophomore year or we were in the last week of sophomore year. So it's either May or June at this time. So you know it's hot outside. It's hot in the building. It's hot in the hallways. So me and my boy, we are sweating through this day. And he comes to me and says, you know what? Before we go home today, let's go to the ice cream truck right outside the school. And I'm like, Bet. So we head over there. It's only maybe 10, 20 feet away from the school. And as we're headed there, there was this kid that kind of stopped us. I would say he's about 16, 17 years old. And he looks at my first friend. And he says, hey, yo, let me hold a dollar. And my first friend looks at him with his like face. And he's like, nah, bro, I ain't got no dollar for you. Get out of here, broke boy. Tells him straight. Dude says, okay. And then he looks at me. I then say, sorry, man, I don't have a out of nowhere. A fist flies to my face. I then wake up on the ground. So I'm waking up off the ground and I really don't know what has just gone on. At the moment, I didn't even know I got hit. All I knew is I was talking one minute and the next minute I'm looking at the sky. And my buddy, he gets me up. He's like, yo, you all right? Are you all right? And I'm like, I put my pants on. I think so. Like, what is going on? So he walked me over to the bus puts me on the bus and like he's asking me all these questions like you know what day it is you know what's going on and I'm like I think it's like the last day of school I'm not really sure bro I was dazed and confused and I really don't know why the guy hit me but I mean if anything I was super small super frail and I wore glasses and I just looked nerdy I looked like a person that could not take a hit out of nowhere uh, I don't know many people that could just take a random hit out of nowhere, but definitely someone at my size and the way I looked was not going to be able to take a full on smack out of nowhere. But I say all this to say the whole reason I've made my muscle TV is for community, for those people, for the nerds, the people that enjoy technology, enjoy news, enjoy AI. Hey, that's me. Enjoy all things. And that's why we're here. My Muscle TV is meant to teach you about things just to make your brain like grow. I want to just 
bring knowledge and bring information that I find interesting to you. So if you find anything that I talked about within this video entertaining, funny, you relate with it anyway, drop me a like and consider subscribing to My Muscle TV. And if you don't know, if you ever had a dream and wanted to create your own music video or make your own movie, did you know that it's already possible with AI? If you don't, check out this video right here and I'll see you in the next one. I almost forgot the brain teaser. The more I take, the more I leave behind. The answer is footprints. I knew it. And until then, stay curious.